Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Boat Rockers. And uh, very briefly, I'd like to give my input on on these uh, on these recent NFL protests that's been going on during the national anthem here in the past. Uh, well, uh, so far in this early NFL season, and um, I basically like to give my input and say that you know, you know, I'd like to title this video: uh, Are they justified? Um, and are people justified in boycotting the NFL? Well, first of all, I would just like to say that, you know, they're not justified because, you know, if you want to make a point, you need to make it on your time. You know, we have many avenues of um, media these days where people can make their point. You know, um, you know, make a YouTube video like I'm doing right now. If an NFL player feels like his race is being, you know, unjustly treated, then you know he can uh, write a blog. He can. There's many other avenues to make your voice known. But when people tune in on Sundays to watch the NFL, they are basically tuning in to watch you know players play football, not necessarily uh, vent their political frustrations or you know their uh, political views or whatever. And you know, here's the problem with this: the reason that people are justified in uh, boycotting the NFL is because the NFL has basically put up their global flag and shown who they side with and the reason I say that is this you know last year during the 2016 um, season uh, there were certain players that wanted to wear 9-11 cleats to commemorate the victims of 9-11 September 11th the terror attacks and the, the NFL basically said if you do that we're gonna find you and a lot of some players didn't do it and so I mean what would that have hurt what would that have hurt if players would have done that the answer to that question is nothing it would have hurt anything but for some reason the league did not want them to do that and also the Dallas Cowboys wanted to wear stickers on their helmets commemorating those five dead cops that were shot in Dallas during a Black Lives Matter rally and the league would not allow that either but they're turning right around and being very selective about who they let exercise their First Amendment rights and who they don't and um, they're not doing anything to these protesters that are you know kneeling during the national anthem and raising their fists during the national anthem well today um, you know being uh, October 1st 2017 I think it was some of the uh, Miami Dolphins or San Francisco 49ers or I, I don't really know the team because I'm not watching it anymore you know I have my, I myself have boycotted it well, uh, they raised their fist during the national anthem, and that's completely uncalled for. And here's the problem with this: um, if you want to make a, a if you want to make a message, if you want to make a point, you know, <clears throat> just because you can do something, just I mean, it doesn't mean that you should. You know, if you want to if you want to spread your message, you know, choose another place and time to do it than you know during a, a, an NFL football game when people are watching you to play football, and also do it at another time during other than during the national anthem uh, this has nothing to do with veterans you know, your your message which you claim is racial inequality uh, has nothing to do with the veterans that died for this country it's got nothing to do with the national anthem so choose another place and time to do it there's many other places to do that and, there, and you, you have an entire week of when you're not playing a football game or practicing that you could be doing that and here's the hypocrisy about this whole thing you know these NFL players that are doing this you know, they're doing this during the national anthem, but they're not doing anything toward this cause during the week or during the off season or anything like that. They they're not doing anything during the week. They're not doing anything during the off season to uh, fight for this cause of what they call racial inequality. And you know, and most of these guys that were killed by cops, you know, that they're protesting about, you know, they were killed while they were breaking the law. You know. And so, and some of them were unarmed, yeah, but, you know, if you attack a cop, you know, if you resist arrest, then you basically, you know, are asking for whatever comes after that, in my opinion. But uh, the reason that, you know, people are justified in uh, boycotting the NFL is because the NFL has put up their global flag and said, you know, we are anti-American, we are anti-God, and, you know, we're going to side with these protesters, and we're not going to do anything to them. While they could, you know, they could do that, and, you know... There's a little bit of a controversy going out right now, you know, that the NFL rule book says that, you know, they have to stand during the national anthem and hold their helmet in their left hand. 
or they should be on the sidelines and not in the locker room. Well, it's not the rule book that says that. It's the game operations manual. But that's still an official NFL-backed uh, book, manual. And so, therefore, that's what they should be doing. The NFL legally could, they could find them, and they could also, you know, penalize their team draft picks, but they're not doing so. They're choosing not to do so. But they did want to choose to find players that would commemorate 9-11 or the Dallas Cowboys for wearing stickers on their helmets commemorating the five dead cops that were killed in Dallas. And so basically the NFL has put up their you know flag and, and, and told everyone, told the whole world who they stand with and for, and that's why people should boycott them because they're basically an anti-American, anti-Christian league and uh, people shouldn't support them anymore. And uh, you know, and they also did find some players, I think it was last year or year before last, D'Angelo Williams, who uh, was playing for the Carolina Panthers. I think it was he was playing for the Panthers at the time. He plays for the Steelers now, I believe. But they fined him, uh, I think it's $5,000, a little bit over that, for wearing cleats that, you know, were in honor of women with breast cancer. You know, they fined him for that. But they're not finding these players that are protesting during the national anthem. So, I mean, why would the league do that? I mean, and also that's very hypocritical of the National Football League, who is, you know, uh, I think it's the month of October, they, wa they wear pink cleats and, you know, uh, pink ribbons on their uniforms or whatever to, you know, honor women that have died of breast cancer. But they, they turn right around and they're going to find a guy uh, for wearing cleats that, you know, honor women with breast cancer or who, or who have died, you know, from breast cancer. It's very hypocritical. The league cares about one thing, and that is money. They care about capital, and that's all they care about. All they care about is money. And uh, that's why people are justified in, in boycotting this league. And not only that, but, you know, there's... You know, people need to do other things on Sundays. Like, for one thing, worship God, honor God, and uh, do other things on Sunday than be huddled up around the television, ignoring your family, you know, ignoring your children, and having your nose stuck in a ball game. So that's my take on that. Uh, like my or, or subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, Boat Rockers, and I hope to have many more videos concerning this issue coming up soon. Thank you.